Like every time I pass by the chocolate almonds in the grocery store, I can't just pass by them. I gotta grab a bag. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Twinji's Podcast. I'm your host, Twinji Taylor Lewis. I apologize if you hear any chewing and, or, and smacking, if you're listening to this in podcast form. It is because I'm chewing on some chocolate almonds right now. Um, it's definitely an obsession of mine. I'm trying to get off them. I can't stop. You know what I'm saying? All right, every time I pass by the chocolate almonds in the grocery store, I can't just pass by them. I gotta grab a bag. I gotta purchase it, which is non-conducive to my goal to become more fit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not exercising like I need to be, you know? I'm not a track athlete anymore. I can't be just eating chocolate like this willy-nilly. I already had chocolate earlier today. I ate the shit out of that. And now I'm eating this too. Like, I don't know what to do. Somebody help. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast, guys. Um, I apologize for not posting a podcast episode yesterday. The reason why I did not post the podcast episode yesterday is because I took the day just to celebrate my 25th birthday. Happy birthday to me. Hey, July 15th, I turned 25. Um, the day before my actual birthday, my lady Shade surprised me. Uh, with a surprise birthday party, had some friends over there, friends from university, friends from, you know, since births, friends from track, uh, my aunt and uncle were there, friends from the church I'm currently going to. Um, just, uh, it was a really, really special moment. Um, uh, it really, really made me realize uh, how blessed I really am. Because um, sometimes, sometimes I forget that. I've realized that I've realized, you know, over the past couple years that, you know, I, I, I have been guilty of spending a lot of time being focused on people who, you know, don't reciprocate the love to me that I give to them or spending a lot of time thinking about people who have wronged me or relationships that went awry that, uh, you know, I, I really need to just just stop and realize that I am really blessed when it comes to friendships. I was talking about it with one of my boys, one of my uh, best friends in the world, Jeremy, about it. Jeremy is a, is a friend of mine that I've had since, since literally since we were babies. I was born July uh, 15th. He was born in late August, August 30th, 31st, like late August. So I'm a month, I'm only a month and a half older than him. Um, and we've literally been friends our entire life. And um, that's just a blessing that not a lot of people have. As I've gone through life, as I've met a lot of people, I've realized that, you know, I'm only just now going through the phase of friendships just coming and going. Um, but I've been friends with him, I've been friends with a couple other people my whole life. And it, 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 in a weird way, it's a huge blessing, but in a weird way, it kind of, uh, it kind of gives you a, a false sense of expectation for friendship because for me when I accept people as my friends in my mind that's a lifelong friend because I've had in my mind sorry that's a lifelong friendship because I've had friends like Jeremy I've had friends like my people um, that I went to that that I did track and field with who after you know I had moved on and we had done our own things that we still remained close and we still kept in touch and the bond was still there. So to be in situations where people um, you know disappointed me in a, in a huge way or weren't real friends or whatever the case may be, it was absolutely devastating to me because my expectations of friendship was you know ride or die, right? Um, but man, in that birthday party, man, I realized that I don't need everybody to be my friend. I only know I only need a few people. I only need the few people that were in that room. I only need the people who 
were apparently invited to the birthday party but couldn't make the t uh, but uh sorry weren't able to make it because of conflicts i only need a few people i only need my family a lot of them out in aurora ontario i only need a few people i don't need everybody to be my friend like the friends that i have are truly 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 it's not just enough it's just like it's just like overflowing of fulfillment and all that good stuff so to everybody who was at my uh, 25th birth surprise birthday party, I really love y'all. I really appreciate y'all. Um, uh, you know, I uh, I did want to organize a get together myself, but I was life was just getting so crazy. Like you know, all that stuff when I was talking about like leaving my agent and getting a new job and all that stuff. Like all like a bunch of stuff was happening at once, and. Uh, I wasn't uh, able to organize anything, but luckily my girlfriend came into the rescue. Um, you know, and I and I love her so much for that. Um, yo, know, I'm I'm really happy, man. I am I am a happy camper right now. Um, I just had a day. It was Friday, like a, a few days before my birthday. Like around, I think it was like July 12th ish, where. I was just, I just felt so at peace because I was going to be working in an environment where I was going to be allowed to uh, practice all the skills that I've learned over the past few years and, um, you know, and the recent podcast episodes, I was just getting such amazing feedback on them and it made me really feel like I'm having an impact with the stuff that I'm doing and the stuff that I'm saying which is crazy because I'm just on here being myself. Like I'm not on here trying to be like an inspirational speaker. I'm not on here, you know, trying to, you know, come up with any creative way to say, you know, like, you know, work hard and dedicate this and you'll find happy. I'm just, I'm just being me on here. And whatever's on my mind, I just spill it out. I just rant about it. And uh, the fact that it's in any way having a positive impact on people is crazy. So I'm finding a lot of happiness in that. I'm finding a lot of happiness in the fact that I have the freedom to network with filmmakers and find my own, you know, opportunities to do film projects. Um, that's big. Um, like I said, I have the. I, I, I'm now um, really solid in in just focusing on the positive as far as who my friends are. You know. And amongst other things, man, you know, like a bunch of things happened in one day that just made me feel just really, really at peace and just happy with my life. And um, that's just such an amazing place to be because for the past three, four years, man, I've just been grinding. I've been working so hard, like, you know, in the world of theater and the world of social media marketing, I've just been putting so much time and effort into this thing. And so just to be at a place now where I'm at peace. I'm still like working hard, but to be at a, in a place in my life where I'm just at peace with everything I'm doing. Um, things don't have to be a struggle. I don't have to sacrifice making money. Um, I don't, sorry, I don't have to sacrifice making money to do the things I love. And I don't have to um, sacrifice do the, doing the things I love to make money. Like both are happening at the same time. I'm loving the direction that my life is going. Um, I'm just at a place right now where I ain't got no worries, man. I'm, I'm happy. I'm, it's it's such a blessing to be able to say that. I'm so grateful to God for that. That that I'm just in this state of mind because you know there were a lot of times when I thought that I was gonna have to you know um, take a couple therapy sessions just to get some of these thoughts out or like you know. Oh, that was that's the other thing that I'm very very that's making me very very happy is that I realized that I am motivated by um, learning and discovering a particular skill set. So when I was in improv comedy, what motivated me to be great at that and what made, motivated me to work so hard at that was like I was obsessed with trying to master that skill set. So that's what motivates me. So as I'm getting into you know. Fig figuring out how I want to work out and exercise as I figure out, you know, the next stages and the next steps within my life. 
I know that the first question that I'm gonna ask myself is like, okay, what's the skill that I want to master? You know, what am I trying, what's the goal? What am I trying to learn here? What am I trying to get really, really good at? That's what motivates me as a person. And so, uh, just as a final question, anybody's listening to this, watching this, whatever, answer to me in the comments right now. What, what motivates you to become the best version of yourself? Um, that's a really loaded question, but if you're able to answer it, I would love to hear your answers. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. Love all you guys. 25th year is going to be the best year. I can feel it. I'm loving it, man. Peace out.